When we created our symbol here, our CR001, we realized that the wire connections weren't updating and the wire wasn't cutting in the center. So what we need to do now is look at the wire connections on this particular block, as in AutoCAD block, and make sure that it updates accordingly. I've created a new drawing, JIC wire connections. Let's add that to the project. So we'll add the active drawing as usual. Do you want to apply the project default values? Yes. And you'll notice that's coming at 001. So again, right click, drawing properties, change that to 03 and enter, and that updates accordingly. Again, good CAD practice to do that. OK, so let's go and look at our symbol. Now what we've got to do is go to the schematic tab on the ribbon, go back to our other tools, back into Symbol Builder, and the block that we created was this one, VCR1002. So if I click on that, you can see all the details there. I want to make sure that obviously it's in the right JIC1 there. It's a vertical parent and it's a control relay. So I click on OK, and all the editing tools kick in again. I'll close the block authoring palettes like so. Now the reason that it hasn't updated the wires is because we have no wire connections on this just yet. They're right here, so we can see wire connections there, direction style. So what we need to do is set some new wire connections. So I'm going to go for a top none and insert that wire connection right there. But what I'm going to do is shift and right click and make sure it's on the midpoint snap of the block itself there like that. And then I'm going to press enter. That's the first one added, and there it is there, Terminal 1, and it's at the top. Let's select another one now. I want bottom, none. I'm going to add that into the drawing as well. And again, do a shift and a right click, and make sure you've got the midpoint snap, and click there as well. And then press Enter again to finish. Now, we've got those two terminals in there. What we need to do is make sure their properties are correct. So there's the top one. I'm going to click here and go to Properties. I want it to justify to the right, going away from the actual block itself, like that. And you've got rotation, for example. I can rotate that through 90 degrees if I wish. If I do that and press Tab now, that'll update, and it'll rotate through 90 degrees. I don't have to have it there. I can leave it at zero if I want to. It really doesn't matter, because basically what I'm setting here is it's a top connector anyway. Anything else I need to check? Well, let's just have a look down the list. These are all upside down, backward, invisible constants. So they're text attributes. That's not what I'm worried about. So I'll OK that now. Now I'm going to do the same with the bottom one. So there's terminal 02 there. And I'm going to check the properties of that one as well. So I don't insert the wire connection. It's that one there, properties. And again, we're going to justify that one. And we're going to change that to left. I want it going to the left away from the block again. And I'll update that by clicking on OK. Now that's terminal 02. Can you see it's moved slightly there? It's a bit odd. So I'm just going to check that and make sure that it's right. It is. It's gone to the left. That's fine. That's OK. Just making sure the justifications are correct. Now, if I click on top here, can you see I can adjust the properties of that? Or can I? Because it's a top wire connection, I cannot change the direction attributes for the properties. What I can change, if I just close that, is the actual setting there. So I've got a top connection and I've got a bottom connection. They're in place now. Let's have a look. Link lines. Do I need to add any of these? So if I go direction top like that, do I need a link line in there? Well, what I can do is I can insert a link line. And again, I'm going to do a shift and a right click. And I'm going to go to midpoint snap again and pop a link line in there like that and press enter. And then I'm going to add a link line at the bottom like so, add that, and that's going to come in there, shift and right click and midpoint snap as well. And I'll make sure I get the midpoint snap there and then press enter to confirm. So I've now added everything that I need for this particular block. So I go close block editor, make sure it's a block in the drawing itself. Just do the base point again, you don't need to, but just sanity check again, just make sure you've done it. Unique identifier, I'm going to change that 002 there to ACADE, AutoCAD Electrical. Press tab, and you can see that's easy to spot now in the drawing. There's some errors there, some missing required attributes, things like XREF number and contact, NCNO. I shouldn't need to worry about those in this case, so I'll OK that now. It's telling me the icon image already exists. That's the PNG file here, VCR002. Do I want to overwrite? No, I don't. What I want to do is change that there again to ACADE, like that, and then OK it. Do you want to insert the symbol? 
Yes, I do. So I come in here, pick a new rung like that, click, and you can see that updating and cutting the wires now. CR002 is fine. Click on OK. And because I've updated the wire connections now, you can see it's trimmed back the wire when I insert the new customized symbol. Nice and easy, just needed to update the block settings for that symbol. When we're working in AutoCAD Electrical, the majority of the time you'll be working on either panel drawings or schematic drawings. When you're working on a schematic drawing, you will be using the schematic icon menus most of the time because you'll be using standardized blocks that have been created for your particular standard, whether that be JIC, Imperial American, or IEC, European Metric. So let's put our drawing into the project. I've created JIC schematic icon menus. So what we'll do there is we'll click on the project, right click, add the active drawing and apply the project default values. As you can see, we need to renumber the sheet there. So we do properties on the drawing itself, change that to 004 and updated nice and neatly. Make sure you do it, get into the habit of doing that. As I cannot stress enough, very important CAD practice to make sure that your drawings are linked to your project. So we're in our drawing schematic icon menus. We'd go to the schematic tab on the ribbon and there's our icon menu there. But if we click on the down arrow, you'll see that we've got a catalog list. We've got an equipment list. We've also got a panel list and we've also got terminal panel list as well. So we can add from any of these lists. The icon menu inserts a component you select from the menu. So you can pick an insertion point on the drawing and orientate it in the drawing. Catalog list inserts schematic components from a defined list of components with catalog assignments. So if I went to catalog list, what would happen? Well, it would show me what's in the catalog list. So you can see there I've got some relays, some pilot lights, some motors, and so on. Let's have a look at the next one down. If I went to the equipment list, again, it gives me a list of MDBs that I can go and look for a spreadsheet file or an MDB file. So you can see there's different ways of inserting your schematics. But the most commonly used one is the icon menu. The reason is it's all very much direct in your face, exactly what it does on the tin kind of scenario. So what we've got here is things like push buttons, relays, contacts, fuses, transformers, and so on. So I might want to add, let's say, a relay coil. So if I bring that in now, there's my relay coil there. I'll line that in there and click. CR003 is the component tag. I can go and look up a particular manufacturer, let's say. So I'll go for that one there. OK that, OK again, and it updates accordingly based on whatever settings I've got in the project and in the drawing. So that's why you would use your icon menus. They're very quick and very easy and they just work because you can see exactly what you're inserting into your electrical drawing. So let's have a look at that one more time. So we'll go to the icon menu again. I'll pick something different this time. Let's go for a push button and I'll go for a push button normally closed momentary there. And you can see there, if I hover over that wire there, zoom in a bit, just get the snap and the grid working and click. PB004 is the component tag. I'll OK that. And you'll see there, because it's got that little line on there, it is a normally closed push button rather than this one here that is normally open. The line's in a different place. So they are basically blocks with attributes, but what they're doing is they're linking to the database in the project itself. So all of these, as long as they've got catalog data attached to them, will come up in the bills and materials when you generate reports. And more importantly, if you export that data out to something like an XLS or an MDB file, the data goes across as well. So you can see how that works with your schematic icon menus.